Hello everyone. My name is Taewoo Nam. I'm working for Songgyungwan University uh, Graduate School of Governance in Korea. This chapter is titled Understanding Digital Government as a Paradigm Shift. This chapter helps you, public managers, understand the shift of ICT paradigm toward digital government. Digital government harnesses potentials of digital transformation. Learning from the best practice in Korea, public managers like you will discuss the directions of national strategies for digital government and develop doable strategies or implementable and feasible strategies for digital transformation in the public sector in uh, developing countries. You will also discuss the imperatives of the developing world to actively involve in digital transformation. This chapter uh, has four objectives. First, you will need uh, to understand the concept of digital transformation in the public sector. And second, you will understand the trend of digital government transformation. And third, you will understand the digital transformation strategies. And then you will understand the digital government transformation in the context of developing countries. The structure is like this. Understanding the digital transformation, and then government paradigm shift to digital transformation, digital government transformation strategy, and then finally, you will understand digital government transformation in developing countries. The definition of digital transformation. Definition is actually working definition. It's kind of ongoing phenomena, so there is no uh, fixed definition. So we can say this is a working definition. Digital transformation is defined as uh, the use of new and fast changing digital technology to solve problems, according to Wikipedia. And the process of using digital technologies to create new or modify existing business processes, cultures, and customer experience to meet changing businesses and market requirements. The integration of digital technologies into all areas of a business fundamentally changing how you operate and deliver value to customers. This kind of definition is based on perspective of technology determinism. Technology determines the social change. Another perspective of technological determinism, uh, digital transformation can be defined as the profound transformation of business organizational activities, organizational processes, and competencies and models to fully leverage the changes and opportunities of a mix of digital technologies and their accelerating impact across societies in a strategic and prioritized way with present and future shifts in mind. Perspective of technology determinism, according to that kind of perspective, digital transformation denotes the fundamental rethinking of doing, thinking, and being of corporations to thrive in the digital age. Actually, we can replace the corporation with government or the public sector. So the public sector and the government agencies need to rethink of doing and being and uh, implementing to thrive in the digital age. Digital transformation is made in the definition in the business sector first. So this definition, we can replace the term business or company to government. So government activity that enhances the government's competitiveness or pursues new growth while responding to environmental changes triggered by digital technologies. So mobile technologies, cloud system, the big data, artificial intelligence, and Internet of Things, all these technologies uh, consist of new technology in digital transformation. Digital transformation, according to perspective of digital government, the digital government or the government in the digital transformation drawing from the process of government adapting to digital innovation. Though digital transformation was mainly used in the industrial context, to solve social problems by utilizing existing technology or new technology. Many countries pursuing digital government policies by newly establishing a governing body. Governing body uh, includes ministries, committees, or agencies. These governing body that oversees digital innovation in the national level.
The concept of digital transformation can be understood in terms of three labels, digitization, digitalization, digital transformation. Digitization means digital technology-driven change in terms of information. Digitalization means digital technology-driven change in terms of organizations and industries. Digital transformation means digital technology-driven change in the whole society. Digitization of information indicates the technical process of converting analog information into digital form or machine-readable format. Digitalization of organization indicates the organizational process or business process of the technologically induced changes within organizations, industries, and markets. Digital transformation of society indicates the total and overall societal effects of digitization and digitalization. These days, an ecosystem of interdependent digital technologies underpins digital transformation, and digital transformation will evolve to drive economic and societal changes in the future. The public sector has experienced dramatic changes, as you can see in this slide. Before e-government, we had an analog government. The analog government was characterized by closed operations, internal focus, and paper-based and physical contact-based procedures. E-government has substantially changed the operations of analog government. E-government enhances transparency and openness by ICT-enabled procedures and user-centered approaches. The current ongoing change is labeled as digital government. Digital government is the outcome of digital transformation in the public sector. Digital government is characterized by open approach, user-driven approach, and proactive adoption of digital transformation. Digital transformation makes a four. Transformative shift from e-government to digital government. Government's role is shifted from service provider to platform. Organizational operation of government agencies changes from institution-centric approach to citizen-centric approach. Governments will go beyond standardization for efficiency and so go toward personalization, such as customization and tailored services. Network-based system will raise the level of trust. Data-driven administration and data-based decision-making will enhance accountability. Problem-focused approach will raise the level of government agility and enable agile government. The basic approach of government operation is changing from reactive to proactive by using transformative technologies. As a summary of what we've discussed so far, government will evolve through four stages. Innovation creates new value by doing the same things in a better way. By digitization, government converts analog information into a digital format or platform. Through digitalization, government will use digital technologies to create new value of organizations, businesses, and industries. Digital transformation can be considered as a journey of strategically planned organizational change to stay competitive or dominate the market by leveraging disruptive technologies. Five key drivers are important to digital transformation in government. Digital transformation in government needs strategy, which is a roadmap. The roadmap for digital transformation should address all elements for fundamental transformation of services to citizens. Leadership also needs to be digitally transformative. Leadership teams should understand new trends and new technological potentials. Digital transformation in government should focus on user. The user-centric approach is critical to agile government. Government culture also need a change to transformative culture, following digital trends. Government should be inclined toward risk-taking, digital collaboration, and digital-based innovation. Digital literacy should be a focus of government workforce development. People should share experience of digital transformation and aspirations from the experience. OECD recommended nine actions for digital transformation. Make the digital economy visible in economic statistics. Understand the economic impacts of digital transformation. Encourage measurement of the digital transformation's impacts on social goals and people's well-being. 
design new and interdisciplinary approaches to data collection, monitor technologies underpinning the digital transformation, notably the Internet of Things, AI, and blockchain, improve the measurement of data and data flows, define and measure skills needed for the digital transformation, measure trust in online environments, establish an impact assessment framework for digital governments. Digital transformation is pivotal for developing countries. It is an opportunity to share a national vision and make socioeconomic transformation in the whole country level. Digital transformation does not guarantee success, no matter how innovative it is. However, digital transformation is an imperative to catch up with the ongoing change in the social and economic environment in which technology is used. Digital transformation needs deliberate efforts to include everyone. Digital transformation can come with new opportunities for developing countries. It can create new jobs, innovate the traditional industry, and improve citizens' health and education. For digital transformation in developing countries, five directions are suggested. First, the government in developing countries should craft a digital compact for inclusive development by collaboration with the private sector and civil society. Second, the government should put people at the center of the digital future through citizen empowerment, skill development, and trust building. Third, the government should build the digital essentials, such as fundamental systems and environments. Fourth, the government should reach everyone with digital technologies based on digital inclusion. Finally, the government should govern technology for the future by taking adaptive and flexible approach to regulations and operations.